Okay, find a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath to bring yourself to the present moment and begin the process of feeling more peaceful and centered. Breathe into the belly so it expands as you breathe in and gets smaller as you breathe out. Now take a minute to mentally scan your body for any areas where there's tightness, tension, or soreness, and breathe your warm oxygen-filled breath into that area. As you breathe out, let the tension release, breathing it out. Now notice any worries, fear, anger, irritation, jealousy, or judgment. Just breathe into those emotions, noting them, then allowing them to flow out as you breathe out. Another breath into any uncomfortable emotions and breathing out, releasing them. Now any thoughts of memories, plans, associations, anything other than being here, breathing, just breathe into those thoughts. And as you breathe out, allow the thoughts to flow out with the breath. Now that our bodies, emotions, and thoughts are a little clearer, a bit more spacious and open, we can begin to focus on the events, experiences, people, pets, or possessions for which we feel grateful. Recall the gift of life itself, the most precious gift. Someone gave birth to you, someone fed you as an infant, changed your diaper, clothed you, bathed you, taught you to speak and to understand. The gift of hearing, so you can hear and learn, whether it's the song of a bird, the notes of a band or orchestra, the songs of singing and voices, the sound of your own breath flowing in and flowing out. The gift of a heartbeat, steady, regular, moment after moment, pumping fresh life-giving blood to all your organs. Now think about all the things we have today that make our lives easier and more comfortable than they were for our great grandparents. We flip a switch and light appears. We turn a tap and clean drinkable water flows. We adjust a thermostat and a room grows warmer or cooler. We have a roof to keep us dry when it rains, walls to keep out the cold wind, Windows to let in the light, screens to keep out insects. We enter a vehicle and it takes us where we want to go. We have access to machines that wash our clothes and we have clothes to wear, places to store them. There are machines that store our food at just the right temperature and help us cook it without having to gather wood. We have indoor plumbing. We have public libraries that have thousands of books and recordings, free for anyone to borrow and read. We have public schools that can teach us to read and write, skills that were available to only the very few just a few hundred years ago. Now take a moment to reflect on all the thousands of people who have worked hard, some without knowing you at all, to make your life easier or more pleasant. Some who plant, grow, and harvest your food. Some who transport that food to market. A team of people who make the roads and railways that make it easier to transport the food. Another team who maintains those vehicles and drivers, loaders, unloaders, those who take the time to design the store, the shelves, the packaging that keeps the food safe and allows you to find what you need. 
postal service, someone who sorts the mail, others who deliver it. Those who maintain the servers so you can get and send email and access the internet. Those who design operation and systems for gathering, sorting, and disposing of trash and recycling. Those who gather news stories and photos and those who create the many mechanisms by which the news can reach you. All those who play sports, create art or music or plays or poems or films to entertain and uplift you. And most of these are people you have never met or barely know. Now consider the people and pets you know who enrich your life, those who smile at you and cheer you on, those family, friends, acquaintances, colleagues, and peers, those ancestors, ancestors who worked so you could live well, those friends who support you when you need a shoulder or a hand. Now take a moment to reflect on your own reasons for feeling grateful in this moment. There is so much to feel grateful for in this moment. Gratitude fills our hearts and minds, uplifting our spirit. Take a few more breaths. And then slowly open your eyes. And go ahead and come up to a standing position. So taking that gratitude with you today through your entire practice, because indeed we have so much to be grateful for. Start by warming up our joints. Circles with your wrists in one direction. And then circling back in the other direction. Hands to your shoulders, circle your shoulders forward. And then circling back. Drop your hands, just let them go. Flop them back and forth. Starting to open up the hips, opening the shoulders. And then bring your hands on your hips. You might want to spread your feet a little bit, bit apart, help your balance. Bending your knees, circling your hips in one direction. And circling in the other direction. Knees are soft, knees are bent. And then the top of your foot, press into the ball of your foot. Or no, I'm sorry. Take, that's not what I want you to do. Uh, press into the tops of your toes. So, so uh, stretching the front of your foot, pressing down into your toes. And then release, pressing into the top of the toes on the other side. And release. We'll do some um, strengthening the Achilles. You can grab your chair for balance if you want. If you don't need it, you don't have to do it. But take your right foot, the top of your right foot, place it behind your left ankle, and then just lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. We'll do 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Other side. And um, today, let's let's concentrate on our lower abdominals. So when as we're doing almost anything. 
Think about bringing your pubic bone up to your belly button, no matter what um, pose you're practicing. So left foot behind your right ankle, inhale up and down. Two. So engaging your lower abdominals by bringing your pubic bone up to your belly button. Three. You can also think about just bringing your belly button in. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Couple shoulder stretches. We'll do the crisscross. I'll turn my back to you. So starting with your left hand, bring it up. Bring that left arm hand up onto your back as high as you can. And then lift your right arm. And try to connect your hands behind your back. Pull your pubic bone up, belly button in. Five breaths, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, press into your feet. Exhale. For three. Keep pulling that belly button in. Four. Five. Inhale and release. Coming to the other side. This is my uh, more reluctant side. Bring your right hand up. Bring it in as much as you can. You can use that left hand to actually help it. Get it in place. Left hand comes up. And then reaching back, trying to grab your other hand. Pull your shoulders back away, down and down and back. Press into your feet, pull up through your um, pubic bone up to your belly button. Inhale, five breaths. For two, three, four, five, and then go ahead and release. Interlace your fingers behind your back. If you can't easily um, interlace your fingers and keep your fingers straight, grab a towel. What do I have? I have an old dirty sock to demonstrate with. Oh no, they're clean. Huh. Funny how they made their way down. So you can always um, do it this way, grabbing a towel or a clean sock. <laughs> so shoulders roll back. Elbows are straight, and then just pull your fingers down towards the floor. Hips are coming forward here, belly button in, for five breaths. One, two, three, four, Five. And then go ahead and release. Uh, let's do two uh, chair Surya Namaskar A, and then we'll do two Surya Namaskar B. So turning the chair so it's facing you. And your toes are up toward the bottom of the chair. Inhale, arms come up. Pull your belly button up, exhale, fold. Forearms down on the chair. Inhale, halfway lift by pressing into the chair. Bring your crown forward, pull your shoulders back. Nice flat back, exhale, fold. Bring your hands now to the front of the chair or bring them back. Step back, coming into high plank. Option to just stay into high plank and go back into downward facing dog or go straight into upward facing dog, like so, rolling over your toes, or you can come down halfway into Chaturanga Dandasana, and then inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, push into your feet, pull up through your hips, 
press your hand into the chair. Soften the muscles in your face and breathe deeply. Two more breaths. Crown is down. I was holding my head up. Crown goes down. Look back toward your belly button. Inhale, look forward. Step forward. Bring your forearms down to the chair for a forward fold. Halfway left, press into your hands, lift your chest, pull your shoulders back, crown forward, exhale, fold back down, soft knees, chin to chest, hands come off the chair, inhale up, and exhale, hands down to your side. Do one more Surya Namaskar A, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold, forearms are down on the floor, knees can be soft, inhale, halfway, press into your hands, Shoulders forward, crown forward, or shoulders back, crown forward, sorry. Exhale, fold back down, bring your hands back, step back to high plank. Your choice of how you want to do your chaturanga, your chaturanga. so you can avoid it all together, or just stay in high chaturanga. Exhale, coming down to low. Inhale up, pressing into the tops of your feet if you flip your toes, and then press back down or facing down. Five breaths here. Pull up on your knees, pull your knees up. Lift your hips up. Press your hands into the chair. Relax your face. Crown is down, you're looking back towards your belly button. One more breath. Looking forward, step forward. Forearms come down for forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Shoulders back, crown forward. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees, chin to your chest, hands come up. And exhale, hands come down to your side. Now we'll do Surya Namaskar B. Hips back, bend your knees. Hands can come to your heart. Let's just do hands to the heart today. So hands to your heart. Now, bring your pubic bone up to your belly button. Tighten up here. Bring that belly button up. And make sure your, your sternum is going up toward the ceiling. Good, exhale, fold down, forearms down. Halfway lift, round forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold, hands come back. Setting up for your vinyasa, chaturanga high to low, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Choose your version. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, low lunge. Bending into your right knee. Option is just to press into the chair and bring your heart up. If your balance is okay, you can also bring your hands up to the top of your chair, depending on your chair. This chair is, I have to go forward a little bit. Or hands can come to your heart here. Press that left heel back, right knee bending into your right knee. And then exhale, coming down, place your forearms. Um, no, don't do that. Place your hands on the edge of the chair, step back into plank again. Your choice of vinyasa, high to low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Push your hips back, left foot steps forward, low lunge. Again, staying here, pressing your hands in, bringing your heart up. Option is to lift your hands a little bit higher if you have a back of a chair, it works. Third option is to bring your hands to your heart. Straighten that back leg by pressing into the right heel. Maybe bending a little bit more into the left knee. And then place your hands to the edge of the chair. Step back, high plank. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. We're facing dog. Exhale down, we're facing dog. Five breaths.
Press your hands into the, into the chair. Press your feet. Lift up through your knees. Pull your knees up. Four. Five. Look forward. Step forward. Forearms come down for forward fold. Halfway lift. Bring your elbows up. Exhale, fold. We're going to come back in the chair. Bend your knees. Hips come back. Hands come up to your heart. And then slowly press into your feet. And exhale, hands come down to your side. One more, Surya Namaskar B. Hips come back. Bend your knees. Hands come to your heart. Again, Engaging your um, trans-abdominal muscles, your lower stomach muscles, bring that pubic bone up to your belly button. Good. Exhale, fold. Forearms down. Inhale, up. Elbows lift off the chair. Stretch the crown forward. Exhale, down. Hands come back. Step back to high plank. Staying in high plank, going back to downward facing dog. Coming down low. And then inhale, upward facing dog. We give you lots of options. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot comes forward, low lunge. Again, pressing your hands into the chair. Start to lift your chest. Maybe bring your hands to the, the back of the chair. Hands can come to your heart. Bend a little bit deeper into that right knee. Straighten that left leg. Good. Exhale. Bring your hands to the edge of the chair. Step back to high. Exhale down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Low lunge. Inhale. Come up. Right heel presses back. Bend into that left knee. Now. Pull your pubic bone up to your belly button. Good. Exhale, plant your hands on the chair, step back high. Exhale, and down. Inhale, up. Exhale, press back down, or facing down. Five breaths. Once again, pull your pubic bone up to your belly button. Engage there, good. Press your hands into the chair. Pull your knees up. Relax your face. Look forward, step forward. Hands come down, forearms come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. And come up into chair pose. Press into your feet. And then inhale all the way up. And exhale, release. Good. I'm um, going to do one more and then we'll go to weights. <clears throat> We're going to do upper dog. So we always remember, let's say. <laughs> Okay, so place your left hand or your right hand, just remember which one. You're gonna, I'm, I'm placing my left hand on the chair. My left foot is going to go back. That's not right. Okay. <laughs> no. Yes, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why this is so hard on the chair. So left hand on the chair, left hand, left foot extends. Right foot standing on the floor, right arm extends. So press your hand into the chair. Press your left heel back. Feel that lengthening of your leg. Pull your pubic bone up to your belly button. Engage your abdominals here. Extend your right arm. And then make sure you're breathing. Let's do two more breaths here. And then bring your right arm out to the side, your left foot out to the side. Five breaths. 
You can always place that left foot down if this is too much. Four. Five. And then bring it back to center and release. Bend your knees, tend to just come up. Other side, this, this time I know what I'm doing, maybe. Right hand on the chair. Right leg goes back. The left hand extends. And your gaze is maybe toward the back of the chair seat. So you wanna just ex expand your spine here. Three more breaths. Stretching in opposite directions for four. Five. And then up to the side. Five breaths. One. Two, straighten out standing leg. Three. Four. Just embrace any of the uh, little wiggling that's going on in your body. What do you call that? I can't think of it. Five. Bring it back to center. And release. Grab your weights. And again, just by, you know, you don't need weights, but just, just you know, just by, as you, as you do like bicep curls, if, as long as you think about pulling your hands, arms through mud, that's what I always think of, and pushing them. Okay, options here. You can stand, but you can also sit. If you want to sit on your chair and do these, it will work both ways. So, um, starting with your palms forward, bring the weights up. And inhale, going down. So with weight training, you exhale when you're coming up. It's a little different than a lot of the other. And push it down. For three. Four. We're going to do ten. So do it. Keep your elbows into your side. Push it coming down. Pull it coming up. I've lost count. I'm going to call this six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now we're going to do reaches. So elbows in. Now I can see I was going to have you lunge. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just do this today. So press out and then pull in. Push forward and back. Forward, really press the forward and back. Three and back. Four and back. Think about pulling your belly button in. Five, six, press into your feet. So activating your legs, seven, eight, looking good, nine, and ten. Good. Uh, let's bring, uh, bring your hands up into gold post. Bring your elbows in. Elbows together and out for two, three. Really push those elbows back, opening up through the chest as you go back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Hold it here and then extend and bend. For two, three, 
Pull up through your pelvis. Four, five, so we're not just working on arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to come forward, working on the rotator cuff. So come forward and lift. So arms are parallel with the floor. Forward and lift. Three, anytime this is stressing you, go ahead and put the weights down. Four, or just take a break. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Bring your elbows to your side, palms facing up. Press your right arm right over your left and open. Really pull it open and then left over right. So alternating. So make sure when you come out, push your shoulders back. Five, six, good job keeping your elbows in. Seven, eight, pelvic pull up, nine. I'm just talking to myself because I have to do 10, because I have to. Bring your feet um, about the quick distance apart. Elbows in, ready to tricep kickbacks. So a little bit of a squat here, a little bit of a forward bend. And then push back and in. I'll turn around, back. Three, emphasize the stretch. Really stretch your arms when you go back. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Hold here. And then we're going to pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold here. Now we're going to pulse in for ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Good release. Okay. Oh, I want to do one more. Grab one. I'm going to change my mind. I forgot the, what we call the martyr. All right, so bringing your arms up, elbows in, all right, straight up, and then I'll come back here a little bit more. And then just bend and straighten. Two. Try and keep your arms as close as your, to your ears as possible. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're done with the weights. I promise. This guy is my witness. Crescent moon. So this could be seated or it can be standing. I'm going to come down on my knees so you can see my arms more. But you can stay seated. So inhale, arms up. Left palm faces the ceiling. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale a little bit over to the side. You'll be doing the opposite of me. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to the side. Or you can mirror me and just change it on the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Push into that left foot. Lift that right arm. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, arch over. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your hands down to the side. 
Other side, inhale, arms up. Right palm up, left hand on your right wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, arching over. Baby steps here, inhale, lengthen. Try and straighten your arms if you can, exhale. Inhale, push that right foot into the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, bring your hands down to your side. Let's do a quick, couple quick back bends. So inhale, bring your arms up. Bend your elbows, goal posts, and push your hips forward, hard up. Little back bends here. Inhale, back up. Straighten your arms. And then exhale, bend again. Bring your hips forward. Hard up. Inhale. Three more. Exhale, heart comes up. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, hands come down to your side, twist. So you can do this standing. There is an advantage in doing it on a chair, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. And the thing that, that I like when I practice this on a chair is that my hips have to stay forward. They're, they're more controlled here. When you're standing, it's just so easy to twist your hips with your arms. And we want to twist, twist the rib cage from the belly button up. So you can stand and do this, but you also, and I sit on the edge of the chair, so I've got some range. So inhale, arms come up. Exhale, twist to the right. Notice your knees here. Make sure your knees are even with each other. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. The back of the chair is getting in the way for me a little bit. Inhale. Oh, well. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, let's hold this twist for five breaths. One, pull up to the, through the belly button, pull the pubic button back up, press in your feet, keep breathing, so relax the muscles in your face. Four, five, inhale back up. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Press the sits bones down into the floor. Make sure that, or into your chair. Make sure that right sits bone's not lifting. So if it is, press down into it. With each inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. And then go ahead and release. Figure four. Seated and um, Seated or standing, so if you're seated, and for this one, if you've got a block, you can um, get even a little bit more of a stretch in your hips by using a block under your foot. So if you're seated, right ankle over left knee. And then if you want to, you can place that block over the foot that's standing on the floor. That's, that's touching the floor, should I say. You lift that foot with a block, you'll get even more of a stretch. So bringing your right over and then just pushing your both sits bones so they're down into the floor. My left sits bone right now is lifting. So I'm gonna push that down into the chair as much as possible. That makes my right knee come up. So I'm going to try and get my right, push my right knee down. I can do that physically with my hand. I can lean forward and kind of give it a little bit of pressure. So feel a nice stretch in your right outer hip here. If 
you two more breaths. Breathe into your hips, even though your lungs aren't down there, but just send it, send that energy down there. Five. And then go ahead and release. Other side, with or without a block. The block can be on medium or low. I've got mine on low, which gives me plenty, plenty of stretch with my crabby old hips. So pressing your right foot into the block. Notice your sits bones. Try and bring that right sits bone down. So you have equal pressure on both sides where you're sitting. Also, remind you again about that pubic bone, bringing it up to your belly button, pressing down with your left. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And then go ahead and release. Come back to standing. Let's see, where do I want my chair? So I have my left hand on the chair. You can have your right if you're mirroring me. And I'm going to bring my left hand on the chair. My left knee comes up. My right elbow comes up. And I'm going to do, I'm going to pull over, trying to not, not so much coming forward as just using your right elbow as a target. So bringing your left knee over and out, over and out, over, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Hold here. Five breaths. Press into that right foot. Uliana Banda is what we say in, in, in yoga, which is bring your pubic bone up to your belly button. Straighten that standing leg. Five. Woo. And release. Other side. This time I have my right hand on the chair and my right knee lifted. Left elbow lifted. Good twist. It's bringing the right knee to left elbow for one, two, three, four, five, six. How many of these do we do? Seven, did we do five on the other side? I don't remember. Eight, we're doing 10 here. Nine, 10, hold, five breaths. Pull it, pull that pubic bone up to the belly button. Tighten there, straighten that standing leg. Make sure you're breathing. And then go ahead and release. Uh, we'll do a straight leg lifts. So I have my left hand on the chair. I'm going to lift my right leg. Right hand's on the hip. Inhale up and lower. For two, three, belly button in. Four, left leg is straight. Five, six, seven. Hold it on 10, 8, 9, 10. Hold for 10, and your knee can be bent. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. We'll do it out to the side, so it could be this way or straight leg, okay? So lifting, one, two, three, 
four, try and stand up straight, five, six, seven, you have your forearm on, on the chair if that helps, nine, 10, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and release, good, feeling that on the left outer hip, yes, other side, right hand on the chair, standing leg is the right leg, left leg comes up, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can have your um, uh, eight, you can have your toe pointed or flexed. 10, you can also bend your knee and do it. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it out to the side. For one, two, pull up. Three, belly button pulls up. Rib cages pull up, crown pulls up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm shaking. Five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead and release. So it's 2.30, I'm seeing already. How can that be? But we didn't start till 1.40, I don't think. So let's go at least 10 more minutes. Because that's how awesome you guys are. And I know you want to. Let's do a seated chair twist. This time we're going to do kind of a revolved extended side angle. So inhale, bring your arms up. I'm kind of on the edge of my sheet, sheet, seat. Bring your left hand to the outside of your thigh, and then use that left arm to leverage open, opening up to the side. Right arm is extended. You can look down at, your, uh, at the floor, or you can look up at the right hand. Five breaths here. Notice your knees, push that, my left knees forward, I need to push it back. That means my hips are, or um, skewing three to keep the hips square, keep the knees even four, five, and then go ahead and release. Other side, um, right arm, the back of your right arm, place it on your left thigh, lift your left hand, coming into your twist again. Immediately, my knees are um, not even, so I need to press my right knee back, keeping my hips square, and then opening up using my right arm, pressing into my left thigh to leverage up. Pull your pubic bone up to your belly button. Three, four, five, and release. Chair pose from a chair. So sitting on the uh, edge of the chair, enough back, so you're gonna come back. On your next inhale, push into your feet, and lift your hips, coming up into chair pose. Holding here, and then push into your feet. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, bring your arms up, sit back chair. Bring your belly button up and in, and then exhale, sit. Always that moment of, is the chair gonna be there? There's nobody with you right now. You guys are all by yourself, so the chair's gonna stay, right? Okay. Let's do it again. Inhale, come up. Tailbone down. Press into your feet. And then inhale all the way up. Exhale down. Bend your hips back, bend your knees. Inhale, arms up. Tailbone up or tailbone down, pubic bone up to your belly button, and sit. And release. 
Um, let's do reverse tabletop. Let's do cobra first. So to do cobra on the chair, I'm going to grab the underneath the edges of my chair and just pull. I'm going to bring my full, my sternum forward, shoulders back. So inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, release. Let's do it again. Inhale, sternum forward, shoulders back. Exhale. Again, inhale. I see my friendly little twins in front of the house. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, shoulders back, heart up. Exhale, release. Now we're going to do a reverse tabletop. So to do that, turn this way. You don't need to, I, I just so you can see. Sitting on the edge of the chair, you bring your hands back behind you, your fingers are face, face, facing forward. First, strengthen your upper body, so roll your shoulders back, straighten your elbows, push your heels into the chair, and then lift your hips. Look up, five breaths if you can, for three, four, five. Go ahead and release. Good. Stand up. Warrior three. You can do this independently if you're comfortable doing that. And if you can get into it, placing your hand on the chair. You can leave your hand on the chair here, bending into your right knee. Left foot is angled in at about a 30 degree angle. And then start to bring your, bring your torso away. So pressing into your right foot. If you can do balance here, you can come up and bring your arms up for warrior. If your arms are up, pressing your palms down into the, like you're trying to press them down into the floor. Feel your arms activate. Push your knees back. Uliana Banda, pull up, pubic bone up to your belly button. And gaze is over your middle right finger. Hold it here for two more breaths. Press your feet away from each other. And slowly come up. Step to the other side, setting up. So the chair is here, whether you use it or not, in case you lose your balance, because, yeah, I've been doing these dances, right? And I'm going, yeah, if you fall, Gloria, <laughs> who's going who's gonna to help you, right? So I'm trying to be cautious. Press your feet away from each other. Your sternum is facing straight forward. Your head twists to the side. Pubic bone up to your belly button. Engage your abdominals. Press your hands down like you're trying to push into the floor. Feeling that activation in your arms. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. And then inhale up. Triangle pose. Which works really well with the chair. You can place your hand on the chair. Feet about three feet apart. The left hand on your hip. Start to open up. Press your right knee toward the chair. Open up through your chest. Extend your left hand. Gaze can be down right foot or up at your left hand. Pull up Uliana Banda. Pull that pubic bone up to the belly button. Use that right hand, pressing it to open up your chest. Bend to your right knee and come on up. Other side. Left foot forward, right foot is angled. Right hand, you can start with your right hand on your hip. Press your left hand into the chair and then use it to push, open up. 
press that left knee back towards the chair. Extend your right arm up. Uliana Banda. And breathe. Press your feet away from each other. And then bend into that knee. And come up. Let's do one more. I'm not getting through all the ones I wanted to do, but that's okay. My favorite pose is pyramid pose. So bring your right foot so it's right at the edge of your chair. Left foot is angled in. I have about a you know, two, two, two and a half feet maybe for me. You want to be able to bring that left hip forward. Inhale, lengthen. Legs are straight in this pose. Start to fold at the waist, at the hips. Bring your forearms, either your hands down to the chair, if that's a tight enough. Keep pressing with that right foot to push that right hip back. If you have the flexibility, you can bring your forearms down to the mat or to the floor. Juliana Banda, pull up. Keep your forearms around the chair. Come up onto your hands, bend into your right knee. Step your left foot forward, right foot back. Right foot's angled in about a 30 degree angle. Square your hips, so bring that right hip forward so it's opposite your left. Nice square hips here. Stay on your hands and just let your head drop forward. Or option to come down onto your forearms. Keep pressing into that left foot. Push that left hip back, right hip forward. Lay on a bundle, pull up. One more breath. And slowly come up. And finishing our practice with a very short meditation. You can have a seat on the floor, a chair. On a second, I'm going to do the Vakasana. Mudra, which I find very, very, we, we've done it, Vi, Vikara gesture. It's a gesture for protection from the forces of nature. It's said to support our immune system and to help us discern between safe and potentially harmful environments. So sit comfortably, make soft fists with your hands, and then cross your left fist over your right and your right over your left. Close your eyes. And begin to follow your breath. So don't make your breath happen. Just, just breathe normally and just follow your breath. As you focus more on breathing, let the muscles of your upper back relax. Revisit the beginning of our practice and think of some of the things, once again, that you are very grateful for.
and then blink. Eyes flicker open. Right hand, left hand, bring your hands to your heart. I am very grateful to each and every one of you, having you as friends is so nourishing to me, to my heart, and I cannot tell you how much I value each and every one of you. May all be well with mankind. <clears throat> May the leaders of the earth protect in every way by keeping to the right path. May there be goodness for those who know the earth to be sacred. May all the world be happy and healthy. Namaste.